Guys, just finishing off the desert portion of our 2017-18 snowbird trip with a stay at Red Rock Canyon State Park. So you can see here, right in here, there's a little town called Mojave. Just before we leave the desert over the Tehachapi Pass and into the Central Valley, we like to stop at Mojave. We have some really good friends that live there, so we stay with them also needed to get some work done on uh, our truck Big Blue and there was a good diesel shop in town so had a little work done to it, a little maintenance and it was good to go so the next thing to do was just head up this side of the the Sierra Nevada range here following this Highway 14 to a little state park called Red Rock Canyon State Park now I've driven through this park on uh, Highway 14 several times on my way to places like Alabama Hills or, or Trona Pinnacles. Um, and I've always wanted to stop because it's so cool when you drive through here. Basically, it's a, a portion of the earth that's, there's a fault that runs through here. And the portion of the earth has, has kind of tilted a bit, I think on an 11% angle, and exposed a great quantity of uh, striped red rock cliffs. You can kind of see here on the satellite view. So the state park has a nifty little campground situated right in here. And the campsites are all along these uh, kind of badland cliffs. So we cruised up there in late March for a uh, three or four day visit. And I got some video and photos to show to you. So here we go. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, Ray from LoveyRV.com and welcome to Red Rock Canyon State Park in California. This little uh, state park is located on the eastern side of the Sierra Nevada range, almost at the very southern end of it, about uh, 25 miles north of Mojave and just south of Ridgecrest you get off of Highway 14 really cool little state park let's give you a look around here so this is the campground and there's actually not a lot of red rock right in the campground it's mostly sort of a brown a brown rock but it's still really cool. You just go outside the campground and you can hike in amongst a lot of the red rock formations. I'll show you that later. We'll go on a little hike. So here we are. Kind of like a, a Badlands cliffs that you camp along there. You can see some of the campsites. So they're all nestled in along there. They charge uh, $25 a night. I think it's $23 for seniors. There's a little bit of a discount. And they say it's a 30 foot maximum RV length, but uh, sometimes you can squeeze bigger ones in. There's some people with 35 footers in here and stuff. But super cool. There's where we were camped up there. We got a pull through camp. A few people have joined us there. It's quite a busy little place because it's not very far from L.A. People drive up here, I imagine. And especially this is Easter weekend, so it's pretty full. I just love all the Joshua trees, too. So, maybe I'll climb up a bit and give, get some elevation. Just climb up on this little dirt hill over here, give you a, kind of an overview of it. 
Okay, here we go. Give you a look at some of the campsites from above here. I think there's about 50 in total. Of course, a lot are small, suitable for tents and camper vans, truck campers, that sort of thing. But there is some where you can squeeze a larger RV in. There's us up there. Very peaceful though. Surrounded by these these cliffs all around you. I'll give you some dash cam footage of the drive through too so you can get a closer look. All sorts of hiking trails. You can see going up over there, there's a bunch to go up along that ridge up there. And then this is just the campground. There's a lot more to the park. A lot more uh, places you can hike amongst the really nice red rock formations. And then right in here is a visitor center. It's only open uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday though. And down below in the parking lot, you can come in day use with your RV. Some big parking spots in there. There also is a dump station, but it was closed. So I tried the water and nothing came out, so I don't know what's up with that. And then off in the distance there, you can see Highway 14 going by. So you're not far off the, the highway in here. Not a long way to drive in. Here's a quick look at our campsite view. You can see we're right up against these really cool sandstone cliffs. Been watching up here, there's uh, nesting kestrel hawks. Lots of these kind of swallowy birds and ravens. Really neat. Just your basic uh, picnic table and fire ring, that's about all you get. And they're quite unlevel. It took me about it took me three leveling blocks, inch and a half leveling blocks on the other side, and we still didn't get quite level. But it's pretty cool. Here's the view out from the campsite. Nice. So it's around 6:30, and we've just got up and uh, headed out to this incredible section of sandstone rock to get uh, some sunrise photos of it. The sun's just starting to rise and come down the rock face. Super cool section. So supposedly this was an old, old lake 10 million years ago, massive lake. And uh, this is the very bottom of the lake that over years has been flipped up on an angle exposing all the layers. This is right at the entrance to the, the campground down this road a bit. There we go, it's all starting to light up now. Hands over there by that uh, kind of bent over looking toadstool thing. 
Taking a shot of the cliffs there, kind of the most interesting uh, place. Angie and I have hiked out into this kind of wash area in the middle. You can see lots of uh, tracks from ATVs that use the wash as a little highway. So once the sun's up a bit, we're going to hike over into this area here. It's called, uh, it looks like Hagen's Canyon. Reading the sign there, it looked like this was a, a guy developed this as his private land. And he made his own private park out of this place. Then later on, the family donated it to become a state park. There we go, Hagen Canyon Nature Trail. Dogs on leash allowed. There we go, hiked up on a little hill. There's Ann down there. I'll give you a bit of a scale to the place. Just hiking down on the rocks there. Super cool rock formations. Lots of bird life in this area. So you got those kestrel hawks, ravens, all kinds of little swallows. Nice little morning nature hike. Beautiful views. It'd be a little better if the highway wasn't right beside us. Now we're just taking a little spur trail off the loop up to this window formation in the sandstone. And we're just saying this reminds her a lot of the Bistai Badlands up in uh, northern New Mexico. That's all the hoodoos and stuff. Not quite as well formed yet. There we are. Cool. So we continued on across this little wash and through this little rocky area further into the canyon. Like Angie Shadow. <laughs> big dog. She's a big dog, I tell you. So I've reached the inner part of the loop here. 
opens up into this uh, large wash area coming out from the canyon there and still see evidence of uh, water and a couple good days of rain last week shouldn't be long before the flowers pop up I guess nice little hike though I don't know maybe a mile or so very flat well marked out well they call it a nature trail so you know it's not going to be arduous Okay, almost ending the hike. All these little Joshua trees here with the red rock behind them. That's cool. It looks like a cool shot up there. We should go take a shot with the Joshua trees and the cliffs behind. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Joshua trees with the cool red rock cliffs. Hey Ann, I got a shot for you up here. <laughs> I'm the I'm the spotter. There we go. Nice little morning hike. Some photography. And back to the trailer for a bacon and egg breakfast. So we're out exploring today and we went across the highway on the other side to this Red Cliffs scenic area. Another example of the layers of rock. Really cool. You can get to this just off the highway. It's like they got a big area here, huge parking, but you're not allowed to camp here. Although this would be the cool place to camp. <laughs> but they must use it for uh, different events and stuff because it's a massive parking lot. So we've just come down and did a quick stop at the Jawbone um, BLM station here. They, they run all the, the different uh, ATV areas and that. So you go in this little uh, building here and they got all sorts of maps. We bought one for the area for three bucks, shows all the trails. They also have BLM maps and, and it's staff to give you advice on where to camp. It's quite a big uh, parking lot and they have RV parking here and then it's right off of the highway 14 coming up from Mojave so easy access so we'll go explore we'll go up and check out the Dove Springs BLM just for future reference A nice little picnic area here with shade nice views Mr. Bob he came up to see me did he? Yeah. Now he's going to go see Angie. <laughs> he's going fast now. <laughs> he's cruising along pretty good. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to find our dog? Probably try wanting to get fed. Angie's not into them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just on a evening hike in Red Rock Canyon State Park. Just hiking along one of the 
the ridges here so I can kind of give you a better look from above of the view. I think I'll get over on that hill over there and I can give you a good pano of the, the area. We're here March 30th. Uh, today it got up to 86. That's what my weather station said. It was pretty warm. I ended up uh, having a siesta and waiting for it to cool down so I could come out for a hike. It's pretty cool uh, topography here. Get these little sections here in the spring where you have basically grass, really nice grasses, and then you can just go another few feet and barren earth. Just get up on top of this uh, hill here. <laughs> 